your spy. Was I a spy? Yeah. At eight years old? I, I was thinking that too, like eight years old? I'm pretty <laughs> sure that you wouldn't even have a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Crystal. What is your name? My name is Shokichi Tokira. I go by Shoks. Can you say that? Shoks. So why are we here today? We're going to be talking about what happened to me and my family when World War II started. Do you recall which countries the United States was fighting against at that time? Yes. Uh, Germany, Italy, and uh, Japan. Right. I'm actually learning about that right now. So. Oh, you're learning about it <laughs> yes. now? Okay. Yes. In 1941, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. Have you heard of Pearl Harbor? No. Pearl Harbor is in Hawaii. Do you remember it clearly? Oh yeah, no. I sure do. A lot of turmoil at that time. Since the U.S. was at war with Japan, there was a lot of uh, frightened people in America about the Japanese people thinking that they might turn against people in the U.S. And so the Japanese people were placed in concentration camps. When you talk about camps, what comes to mind uh, for you? Camping. Like uh, the one with s'mores. <laughs> were there s'mores at your camp? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was not that nice. You know what barbed wire is? It, it's the stuff that has, goes like that on the top of it. Oh. So then when you try climbing, you would just get really hurt. Yeah, they had barbed wire all the way around the camp. And they had guards making sure that we didn't get out of camps. And you know which way the guns and machine guns were faced? All the way towards, towards the, the camp. camp. They were faced in down. towards us. Yep. We were considered prisoners. Well, you didn't do anything bad. That's right. That's exactly right. So then why would you be in prison? Because the war was with Japan, and I'm Japanese because you're Japanese. Yeah. This is my question. Why didn't they put Italy or Germany? That's kind of weird. Eh? They're weird? Because, like, if you just put one country in, it's really not that fair. The main reason is that a lot of the Germans and Italians are white like you are. But you're not all white. Yeah. You're part Japanese? Yeah. Oh. A quarter, though. What I have been put in the camp? Yes. Oh my god, that is sort of racism. A bit. Yeah. That is really racism. That is, that's exactly what that is. That must have been so unfair for you guys. It was. Mm -hmm. How many people were at your camp? There was roughly 10,000. 10,000? Mm -hmm. You call it internment camps, but I call it concentration camps. And you know what the difference is? I don't know exactly, but I know that the concentration camps in Poland and Germany where the Jews were, they were death camps. Yeah, we were not put to death like yeah. they were. That's yeah, what you think. a huge difference there. Nevertheless, these were camps that were set up for the Japanese who lived in along the west coast. The camp that we wound up in was Menadoka. Where is that? It's in uh, southern Idaho. These camps had a whole bunch of barracks. They were long barracks. My family had to live in one room. How many siblings did you have? I have seven siblings. Seven? My brothers and sisters were all younger than me. Could you imagine having seven Christians? No, I'd lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely even stand one. <laughs> and when we first went into our room, there was about three or four inches of uh, sand in the whole room. So my father got us uh, cardboard and other things that we could shovel all the sand out of the rooms. And then, you know, these, these barracks did not have bathrooms, did not have a kitchen, did not have any running water, and we had to go to a different building to go eat. We didn't have any furniture, so my father got us a big box that he put on the floor, and that was our dining table. We sat on the floor, Japanese style. <laughs> How old were you when this was happening? I was eight years old. How old are you? Eight. How long were, did you have to be there? Three years. Usually when I think of camp, it's like maybe a week or so. <laughs> but um, three years, that makes me think of torture. My parents were very angry because we lost our business. We lost our home. We lost the car. That would be all waste of that money, and that would be ruining other people.
people's lives. Oh, yeah. Did the U.S. ever apologize to you, to the Japanese? Yes, they did. President Reagan signed an apology to the Japanese people that were put into camps, mm -hmm. gave us a stipend of uh, $20,000 per person who was in camp. Do you think it could happen now? Yeah, it could happen. In fact, have you heard about the American army going over to the Muslim countries to fight? No. Well, they're doing that right now, and there's a lot of resentment against the Muslims. It's a racial profiling that has to be stopped. And in our community, a, a, a group called the Densho are trying to make sure that that doesn't happen to the Muslims like they did with the Japanese during World War II. That would be scary. I, I'm speechless. Well, it was really nice to meet you, Shokes. I feel so sad for um, what happened to you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Shokes. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming, and yeah, I enjoyed course. talking to you. <laughs> thank you very much. Hi, thanks for watching Kids Meet. If you'd like to learn more, check on the link down below. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was great. All right, thank you so much, Shokes.